Uh, First Minister, thank you very much indeed for those comments. I know the First Minister needs to leave us to go to another commitment now, but I just want to take this opportunity to thank her uh, for those fantastic comments. It is great to hear uh, the pride that exists uh, uh, from uh, the Scottish Government uh, in the industry here in Scotland and the role that it plays not just in Scotland's history but also in Scotland's future. Thank you very much indeed. Um, We now move towards the close uh, of the event and it is my great pleasure to introduce our final uh, keynote address uh, from John McGuigan, the Chair Chair of the SFE board. Please do welcome John to the stage. So the tricky part of my uh, session is trying to follow the conversation through today and provide some summary, I think, of the discussion that we've had. What has been an incredibly interesting day. Just before I get into some reflection, I just want to say some thank yous as well. Um, First of all, thank you to everyone here, giving up a day of what will be a busy diary to come and spend time talking about how we in financial services can work more closely together, not just to solve the problems of today, but also to think and come up with creative, uh, creative ideas in terms of how we address the issues that we'll face into in years to come. Um, So well done for sticking with it over the last few years and I'm sure you'll walk away from today with your own reflections in terms of learnings you've taken, thoughts that you have in terms of how you and your organisation continue to work collaboratively with other parts of financial services in facing into some of the challenges and opportunities we have in the years to come. Um, Thanks to PwC and to State Street. Uh, for sponsoring the event. We always need sponsors, so thank you very much for uh, being prepared to do that on behalf of SFE and City UK. Uh, To the City UK and SFE teams, um, I'm always incredibly impressed that I just turn up and someone gives me a piece of paper and says, go on stage, say that, and you've done your job for the day. I forget about all the preparation these guys do behind the scenes, and it's uh, a fantastic collaboration between two organisations that work incredibly closely together and I think it's just a sign of the continued way in which we work and the the benefit we gain from each other's contribution. Uh, To the Assembly Rooms team, uh, thank you to them. I mean, it's an amazing venue, but also it comes down to the way we've been looked after today and the staff that have been here and uh, the food that's been provided, etc. So thanks to the team as well. To the speakers and panel members, I'm sure you agree the panel discussions were incredibly interesting, as were the speakers. And it was great to get the UK, the Scottish Government and Scottish Labour all contributing to the debate uh, throughout the day. So to my, to my reflections, um, I guess something that was said at the beginning is we're an industry that's got a history of 350 years. Someone said to me quite early on in my, my career, just remember, John, the history informs your future, but it doesn't define it. But there are some aspects of our history that I think we should very take, very clearly take with us as we face into the challenges that lie ahead. One of them is to look outwardly, not inwardly. I think we have to see ourselves in the UK as having the opportunity not just to solve our own problems, but also to help solve the problems that lie elsewhere in the world. And I think the last session on Net Zero is an example of where we as a, a country can do some fantastic work in helping to solve some of the issues that occur at a global level. So I'd love to see, and I think I do see in terms of some of the things we're doing in areas like fintech, that people are prepared to stand up and pioneer, to go off and do things that haven't previously been done and take the risk that that involves, but also the opportunity that creates. The fact that it sparks other people's imagination as well to do the same thing that we show our invention and we show our innovation in terms of what we do as an industry, and hopefully that rubs off on our partners and other parts of society to do the same. We in financial services should remember our history, remember all of the fantastic things we've done, but be hugely excited about the opportunity that lies ahead and the influence that we can have over society more generally and the UK and global economies. There are some obvious areas to focus on in the short term, and it wasn't by accident that we chose the themes that today was part of the discussion. Supporting economic recovery. I'd probably like to say just supporting economic growth, 
I think it's about whatever the economy has to go next, how we play our part in making that happen. The journey to net zero, which was a very interesting discussion just before the break. Changing customers' needs. I think it was very interesting to look at some of the work that had been done um, in terms of what are customers thinking about us, what do they expect from us as organisations, and why we can give them confidence that we can be a trusted partner as they navigate their way through their own life and pressures, whether as an individual or as a business. And skills and inclusion. I think we've all got our own story to tell about um, whether or not we thought financial services was a future for us. I personally didn't. I've only come into financial services in the last 10 years. When I was a younger person, that was probably the last thing in my mind that was not an area that I considered to be an area that would be appropriate for me in terms of a career. Because I think, as Sandy quoted, I didn't have a role model in my family unit that would have encouraged me to do that. And I think we can all play a part in our organisations in terms of reaching out into our communities and give others the opportunity to better understand what financial services brings both to the economy but more as importantly to them as an individual and the contribution they then can make to financial services as well. So bring our customers and clients with us. I think the message was communicate consistently and often which I think is very, very important. And as Carol shared, people want us to show that we're demonstrating economic and social good. Now, I know we are. I think we in this room know that we do that on a day-to-day -day basis. But we do need to work very hard to make sure that those messages are conveyed effectively to the wider community across the UK. And inclusion and diversity, if we want to be relevant to our customers, we want to make sure that our workforce is a reflection of the society that we serve. And therefore, it's incredibly important we continue the work that was discussed before lunch in making sure that we have created or we create a diverse and inclusive workforce that gives the confidence that we need to have that we've got the right people navigating financial services into the future. So with that, uh, I'll just say thank you again for your time today. I'm excited by what you'll do with the outcome of today, individually and as organisations. Um, City UK and SFE collectively will continue to do our work to coordinate, create opportunity for discussion, take ideas and develop the themes of those ideas and play them back into the industry and other parts of society, including government. But thank you for the day, and with that, I'll hand back to Miles. Thank you. Uh, John, thank you, and I'd like to endorse everything you've said. I thought that was a terrific summation uh, of what's been a terrific day. Um, I will be very brief. I'm conscious we've overrun slightly, uh, and people have homes, offices uh, to get to, or flights, trains, and buses to catch. So uh, very briefly, um, I think there's been a huge amount of substance uh, in the discussions today. It gives us a fantastic platform uh, to build on, to continue to deepen the cooperation uh, between SFE uh, and City UK, and across all parts of the industry. I was talking uh, during the break about how one of the things that's come out very strongly in today's uh, discussions uh, is the way that like a well-oiled machine, different parts of the financial and professional services ecosystem are moving towards shared goals and shared priorities. Uh, I would like to echo John's very fulsome thanks to uh, our sponsors, to PwC and to State Street. Uh, I would like to thank uh, the City UK's regional and national, this is not going to turn to the Oscar thank you speech, just to be really clear, um, uh, the uh, regional and national chairs uh, at City UK. I'd like to thank the speakers uh, and panellists for the fantastic content uh, that we've had to um, uh, think about and to digest through the course of the day that I know many of us will take uh, away and uh, work on further. I'd like to thank everybody here in this room and online, uh, particularly those who have been contributing questions and contributing 
contributions through the day. Uh, and uh, as John says, uh, I'd also like to thank the teams here at the assembly rooms uh, and the teams uh, at SFE and City UK for uh, having such a fantastic, smoothly running event. Uh, we will be holding next year's conference, I can exclusively announce, uh, in Manchester uh, uh, as my hometown. I'm delighted uh, to welcome you all there. I look forward to seeing you all there. Uh, next year, I hope. Uh, and in the meantime, have a safe journey home. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.